Joe, great to see you. Thanks for inviting us to your new club here in Chatteris, Joe Perry's Snooker and Pool Palace. It looks fantastic, but firstly, how are you? How's your summer been? Yeah, it's been good. It's uh, busier than any summer I've ever known. You know, I've, I've only ever played snooker for a living. I've been reminded many times by my partner and family that it's not a real job. And uh, I've now got a real job, and it's, so it's been tough, long hours, but I'm enjoying it. It's, it's hard work. Long, long hours, like I say, but I am enjoying it. It's a new challenge for me, and uh, it's what I wanted to do. So, I've got to embrace it and make the most of it. And all that hard work looks like it's, it's paid off. It looks fantastic, as I said. You must be really pleased with, with how the club is looking, and how many members you've got signed up at the minute as well. Yeah, no, we've had a good, good response from the town and surrounding areas. They've come out and supported us, which we was hoping for. Uh, yeah, we put a lot of work in. It's not all my doing. I had a lot of help from close family and friends really like mucked in and got the place looking like it does now. We're, we're delighted with the finished look. How many members have you got at the minute? Well, we've, we've got about 17 or 1800 on our system. They haven't all come in and fulfilled their membership, completed their membership, but, but we're well over a thousand, which is more than double what we was anticipating and what we sort of set out to achieve when we've done our sort of little business plan. We was hoping for 500. So we've exceeded that and and where we've sort of managed to be lucky with the location we are right in the middle of town this this place the palace is synonymous with Chatteris it's been all sorts of things it's been a cinema it's been a ballroom it's been restaurants nightclubs so to get this place right in the middle of the town is is a is an absolute blessing for us is there a sense of pride within you because you say you're a local man you're a Chatteris man to give back to the town to, to give back to such a historic building yeah, no, there's definitely some of that in it. I'm, I'm like real pleased with what's going on. I'm, I'm pleased that I've done it. I'm really proud that we've done it, not just me, but everyone that's helped me. You know, I've, I've wanted to I'd be like a club owner. My dad had a club years ago in Huntingdon and it was a bit different back then, but I've always wanted to do it. I've had the opportunity to find premises outside of Chatteris that didn't really appeal to me. You know, I'm, I've, I've been here since I left London at the age of 14 and uh, I was only ever going to do it here, so if the chance never come up in Chatteris, I probably would never have done it. So, like I say, lucky to find the, basically the perfect premises, really. How did it come about? Why now to take on a challenge like this? Well, obviously my snooker's sort of, it's not what it was. You know, I'm going to be 50 in a couple of months' time. The, the, the actual the desire to practice day in, day out, which you have to do to compete at the highest level, is waning considerably you know I'm, I haven't got the, the powers of concentration I used to have so you know to play at the highest level now is getting difficult for me uh, snooker's all I've known and you know so it seemed like a quite a easy sort of transition to make even though it's it's a bit harder than what I thought it was <laughs> but no it's it's quite it's all I know so I, I can continue to enjoy snooker if I do drop off the main tour I can sort of then sort of play on the other stuff, hopefully do more like the other side of the camera in terms of commentary, commentary and stuff like that. And, and yeah, I'll, I'll, that, this way I can still be involved in snooker. Would you try and get back on? Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I'm still on. I haven't dropped off yet, but uh, I've got a tough year, tough couple of years ahead of me. Uh, I, I, I literally, no excuses, I had a poor year last year, but I literally had a, a year off. I, I don't think I practiced more than an hour in between every single tournament. I just, just rocked up and played in the tournaments. You, I'm not good enough to do that. I don't think anyone's good enough to do that. So uh, obviously my results suffered. <clears throat> but this year, I'm gonna try and get together with Neil a little bit more, try and get out and play a few of the other sort of pros in and around like an hour's drive. So hopefully that will benefit me and benefit my results. Why is it so important for facilities like this to be still present in the local area, in local towns like Chatteris, across the country. You mentioned clubs earlier. Traditional studio clubs seem to be sort of waning, the idea of them, and, and, and there's less of them now across the country. Why is it important though, to have facilities like this with pool tables, with a bar, with darts at the top there, more of perhaps of a social club? Well, I, I think snooker is, is such a difficult game and it can sometimes be misinterpreted as, as quite dull and quite boring, but it's not. You know, if you set it up properly, and I'm, I'm like happy with how we've set this up, it's quite a sociable game. Okay, it's difficult. Pool is more sociable purely because it's easier and quicker. But it's important because snooker, yeah, it's, the, the game's amazing. Like, you know, the numbers, I, I believe, are, are huge in terms of TV, but participation has definitely dropped. You know, I, we just see it in, even in and around here, our, our leagues 
we once used to have three or four divisions with 10, 12 teams in each. We're struggling to get one division now. So the numbers have dropped, the facilities have, have disappeared. So if we can just sort of bring that back and, and make it more fun, we, we, we actually, funny enough, we actually start our first junior club this Saturday morning. We, we advertise for, we wanted 16 kids on a Saturday morning once a month. We've had to extend that to two Saturdays in a month because we had like over 40 applicants. So, so the interest is there, but you've got to give them the facilities to be able to come and enjoy that and, and make the most of it. And what's left to do with, with Joe's snooker and pool palace? Well, we're going to keep growing like the, the sort of the interaction with the members. We started our, our in-house sort of snooker league last night. Like I say, the kids club starts on Saturday for the first time. We've got, we have got an underneath, which is untouched at the moment. We're looking to extend and that will just just generate the business. Whether we put more tables down there will depend on how things grow up here, but, but we'll definitely turn downstairs into something. So we'll just keep the business sort of growing and, and building. But yeah, long may it continue. We've, we've sort of, like I said, a good start, but we're not going to rest on that. We're going to keep the leagues coming, keep the in-house stuff going, grow the, grow the club and hopefully grow the enjoyment. It sounds like more people want to join with the, the phone ringing in the background, but keeping busy though. Yeah, very busy, yeah, but loving it. Thanks, Joe. Cheers. Cheers, thank you.